Let's first try and understand the difference in the muscles used in running versus cycling. Now the muscles involved in running can be divided into two groups, primary muscles and secondary muscles. Now the primary muscles involved in running include the quads, which are muscles in the front thighs, hamstrings muscles in the back thighs, your calf muscles, hip flexors, which are basically a group of muscles above your thighs, and the glutes, which are basically the main muscles in the hip region. And the secondary muscles include the core muscles, the abs, the biceps, and the triceps. During the run, when you move your leg forward, the quads, which are muscles in the front thighs, come into the picture. And when you move your leg backwards towards your butt, the hamstrings, which are muscles in the back thighs, come into the picture. In this whole process, the glutes act as the major source of power, strength and stability. The hip flexors, which are a group of muscles above your thighs, are utilized when you lift your leg up while running. And finally, the calf muscles help you push your feet off the ground in this whole running process. So this is how all the primary muscles are utilized. Now coming to the functions of the secondary muscles, which includes the core muscles, the biceps and the triceps. The core muscles provide stability to the upper body while running. On the other hand, the biceps and the triceps are engaged in the arm movement and help in pushing the body forward in the running motion. Since we've talked about running, let's talk about the muscles involved in cycling. So the primary muscles involved in cycling include the glutes, hamstrings, quads and the calf muscles and the secondary muscles include the back muscles and the arms. During the cycling process, when we push the pedal down from the top, also called the power phase, the glutes and the quads work together to provide power and strength. Once the pedal reaches the bottom, the calves and the hamstrings come into the picture to bring the pedal back to the top position. This completes one revolution of the pedal. On the other hand, the secondary muscles, which are your back muscles and the arms, are involved in supporting and balancing the upper body and also steering the handle. Now, we focused on the muscles involved in cycling and running, but which one of them impacts the muscles more? So, while running, the impact on the leg muscles due to the ground reaction forces is quite high, which leads to muscle toning and building stronger bones. On the other hand, the upper body muscles like the core muscles and the arms are also toned to a very small extent in this process. On the other hand, cycling impacts and builds the leg muscles because of pedaling, but the force isn't as great as running. Also, the use of the upper body muscles is minimal. So running and cycling both are cardio exercises that will help build lean muscle mass primarily in the lower body, with running being slightly better than cycling in terms of intensity and the muscles used. 